Hello everyone. Today's topic is nucleus. Nucleus is the controlling center of the cell. This was proved by Hammerling in Acetabularia. It was first observed by Leeuwenhoek while it was first studied by Robert Brown in Orchid Root. Orchid is an epiphyte. Usually, one nuclei is found present in the cell and it is known as uninucleated condition. Binucleated or two nuclei can be seen in paramecium. Multinucleated condition is seen in the cells of bone marrow, striated muscles, latex vessels, Rhizopus, that is some fungi, Waukaria, which is an algae, and Opalina, which is a protozoan. The multinucleated condition is known as synexial in animals and sinocytic in plants and fungi. Some cells like the RBC in mammals and sieve tubes in plants are without nuclei. Such condition is known as anucleated. Let's come to the structure of the nucleus. First to the different parts. Outermost is the nuclear envelope or the karyotheca discovered by Hartwig. Then Present on the nuclear envelope are nuclear pore discovered by Callan and Tomlin. Inner to the nuclear pore lies the nucleoplasm discovered by Strasberger. Present in the nucleoplasm is the chromatin reticulum discovered by Flemings. Also present in the nucleoplasm is nucleolus discovered by Fontana and the name given by Bowman. Nuclear envelope is a double membrane structure. It has an outer and an inner membrane where each membrane is 60 to 90 Armstrong thick. This is the nuclear envelope and it encloses within a perinuclear space which is about 100 to 500 Armstrong. Present on the nuclear envelope are many small openings called the nuclear pores. At the pore region, the inner membrane is continuous with the outer membrane and through the pores, ribosomes, RNA and proteins are allowed to pass through. A pore complex can be seen at the nuclear pore. The pore complex consists of two annular rings, each made up of eight subunits. And it encloses a space in the pore region. Now in this diagram, you can see that the nuclear envelope is associated with the endoplasmic reticulum towards the outer side. Nucleoplasm is separated from the cytoplasm by the nuclear envelope. Present inner to the nuclear envelope is the nucleoplasm, which is a semi-fluid colloidal substance. It is the region where DNA replication and RNA synthesis occurs. So it has enzymes for DNA replication, RNA synthesis, besides this nucleosides, RNA, nucleoprotein, subunits of ribosome and chromatin reticulum is present. The chromatin present in the nucleoplasm is made up of DNA and histone proteins and this chromatin coils to form chromosomes during cell division.
present in the nucleoplasm is nucleolus. Nucleolus consists of ribonucleoprotein fibrils at the center. They are surrounded by ribonucleoprotein granules and surrounding which is a chromatin of chromosomes associated with the nucleolus. Nucleolus are amembranous structures, means they are without any membrane. They are the site for synthesis of our ribosomal RNA and also take part in the formation of ribosomes. Thank you. Thank you for watching.